Last week I was out playing and through 16 holes, I had no bogeys, three under. 17th hole, oh, bogeyed, oh, it's disastrous. But it got me to thinking back to when I was trying to break 80 for that first time, same feelings were happening. So whether you're trying to break 80 for the first time, 90, 100, par, it doesn't matter. But when I broke 80 for the first time, I really focused on three things and that got me over the hump for that first time. And it will work for you to whatever uh, level you're trying to get to. Every time I lose my balance, I just pick up my tee real fast so no one notices. Now, if you're a 10 handicap and you're trying to shoot even par and win everybody's money, this is not for you. Okay, this is for people who actually want to get better and improve and enjoy that piece of the game. What I noticed early on was this, that on tougher holes, longer holes like this one we're on here, I was always bombing driver because I wanted the shortest possible shot into the hole. What I realized though was I spent a lot of time in the trees and in the bunkers and in trouble. So find the fairway because it's a lot easier to get that ball close to the green where you can chip, where I spent a lot of time chipping, doing my chipping drills. It's a lot easier to get it close to the green if you're in the fairway than if you're in the bunker or the trees. So first key was don't always just bomb driver off the tee. Notice I hit three wood back there, found the fairway short of trouble because driver would put me smack dab if I don't hit it perfect in a skinny little fairway. So that leaves a six iron in, that's fine. Would I like a wedge in? Of course, but not from the bunker. I don't wanna be in that thing or the trees or whatever. But that wasn't enough. I needed more. I was getting close, but I was getting 80, 82, 83, 84, and I'd be right there, par on the last hole, you got it, and triple bogey. You been there? The second thing I was doing was that if I knew I wasn't going to break 80 or my number, whatever it happened to be, then I kind of gave up on the round. And I realized there was a major problem with that, is this, in order to get my lowest round, break that barrier, I had to put myself in a pressure situation more often. Because if I was in that pressure situation and I didn't achieve success, I gave up. So in order to put pressure on myself, even in those rounds where it was over and I had no chance of breaking 80, this is what I would do. Whatever the shot was, I would tell myself, all right, 18th hole, just pretend 18th hole, you've got to get up and down to break 80 so that I would put myself in the pressure situations over and over and over again, every shot I had. Not horrible. But now, now I have a pressure six foot putt. Everybody wants that magical swing fix so they can shoot their lowest round, but that's not it. It's putting pressure on your game because that magnifies your mistakes. And the more you do that, the more you can deal with it and overcome that. So again, like I said, I had to get up and down to break 80. Here's my putt at it and I'm feeling the pressure. Ooh, went in, hit a little bump too, got lucky. You gotta chalk up those little victories along the way, which got me closer, but I was still missing one key fundamental thing once I got it, whew, game changer. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out. That's if you really want to lower your scores all the way. So here's the final thing that took me over the hump, got me out there. I realized I needed to have a different goal besides just breaking whatever number it was, 80 for me at that time. So what I would do was I would take my scorecard and I would circle the holes where I wanted to make 30. Now I wanted to be realistic here. I could circle eight holes, but I'm not probably not gonna make eight birdies in a round. I'm probably gonna make two, 
maybe three. If I'm lucky, that's a good day back then. Even now, like that scratch golfer, two, three birdies around, maybe. So be selective here and pick two holes that you are gonna focus in and make a birdie. For me, that's this short par five, the 16th hole. Put a circle around everything so on your scorecard, you know this is the hole where expectations are high. So I'm gonna take you through my mindset as I play one of those circle holes because this whole journey is what got me over the top. First thought, tee box, tempo. Just good tempo when I'm striking my driver. That's all I'm focused on here. 237 left. Now, just because you pick this as your birdie hole doesn't mean you get to go for the fences. Here's what we have to do. We have to be a little bit of a poker player in this scenario. What are the odds I'm gonna hit it on the green? You should know that based on your practice. Three, high cut, I'm gonna have to take a little off it. Probably not gonna go on the green. Uh, five wood, could go. Potentially, yes. Now I gotta calculate the risk. What is a bad shot with this equal for me? Uh, I could top it in the bunker. I could put it in the trees over there. I could go left. I do not wanna go left on this hole. Uphill lie, easy to go left. I'm still 50-50 on this. I could lay up here and put all the pressure on my wedge game. Do you practice your 80 yarders enough to have full confidence in those? Probably not, right? Because you're probably there. But if you do, that's a good option. So four iron put me right there on the front of the green, right in front, pins in the back. So, okay, how's your chipping game? Is it good? No good. You gotta know that based on your practice. So I'm gonna go five wood, five wood. Easier to hit than the three. I'm pretty comfortable, confident with it. My misses aren't that big. And there's a very critical piece to this that's vital if you're gonna get it right so that you can have success. First, let's see if I can make the eagle putt. We did it. Got a little ridge to go up. So we're in good position for the hole I picked to birdie. Just two putt this and we got it. Got a little chicken on the bone. <laughs> That's good. Good for the nerves. Whoo! Snuck it in. That critical piece of information is this. Make sure you pick your birdie, one on the front, one on the back, and start picking out three pars on the front and three pars on the back. That's eight of the holes that you're really gonna focus in on because your goal isn't necessarily to break your number or 80, whatever it is, it's to refocus on every hole. We gotta get shot by shot, hole by hole, not overall score. So do it like that and you'll be like, oh, I shot a 78 today. That's what happened to me, Torrey Pines North course, 78, broke it by two because I wasn't thinking 80. I was thinking birdies, pars, hole by hole execution. I did it. You can do it too. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.